<laughs> Aline, I'm gonna start with you two. Aline, you and Yami both wake up the next morning. And I want you and Yami to both make perception checks. Since Yami's not here, could you roll for her? Yeah, I can do that. I got a 11, and Yami is going to get... Ele 11. Okay. Both, 11, 11. Both of you see this. Both of you see this. Starting from the bag of holding on the chair here, are footprints leading all the way up to Yami's side of the bed, and they just stand there and then head back. As the bag flap is open. Great. <laughs> this is something yeah. we'll have to deal with. This is something we'll have Irina to deal with. Irina and them have gotten up and are making their way to... Well, let's say... I don't know where their kitchen is in this place because it doesn't exactly have a kitchen. These are all workspaces, but we'll consider this the kitchen. So Ishmark's in there making breakfast for everyone. Irina comes in and she sees the footprints and she's like, what's happened in here? What What is going on? Why are there footprints on floor? What is going on here? I, I am a appearance sure of what is happening. Are you working for that devil? No. I don't like what is going on here. And, uh, Hearing the commotion, um, the paladin's coming up. He's like, he looks at the. He's gonna make a perception check. He's gonna make a perception check as he hears Irina talking about something that was on the floor. Are you fucking serious? What did someone shit on the floor? Like what happened? I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a five. He's like, what you, he's like, what happened? It's like the footprints on floor. You oh, don't yes, see them? The floor, yeah. oh, he's gonna the roll with it. Go home, Sir Guy, you're drunk. No, he's like, the floor here is made out of floor. <laughs> I'm gonna make another one with, um, advantage. Oh my fucking god, he can't roll for shit today. He's like, I still don't see anything. What are you talking about? Yes, the floor here is made he rolled out a of nine! Floor. Are you serious? Like, I, I would imagine Irene would just point it out at this point. Yeah, she points it out and he sees it. He's like, Oh, and he notices it's coming from the bag of holding, and he's gonna make a history check because he thinks he's heard of a story of this before. Where is? Please roll better. Thank you. Yes, you know, come to think of it, there was an old kids' tale in Karandar that used to scare kids into keeping them out of interdimensional magical spaces. They called it the Bagman. She <laughs> okay. goes, the Bagman? What? What is the Bagman? It was a tale of an adventurer who was so doomed he climbed into his own bag of holding in order to avoid imminent death. However, it appears he never made it out and rumor has it he became a monster himself, but no one's ever really seen it. If you went, if you went to a bag of holding for too long of time, you will just suffocate and die. Well, that that's why it's just a kid's tale, after all. But this, this is, uh, I don't know how you explain it. Yes, creepy, creepy feet prints on floor. Yeah, very nice. Um, I am going to go help, go help Ishmark, and she's gonna make her way to the kitchen. Um, Kill, we're gonna move over to you and, uh, Lilith now, as, um, Irina, Irina's going in the kitchen to help Ishmark with some kind of food for everybody. What are you guys doing? We're talking about boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you gonna roleplay this, or am I gonna sit here and wait? What are you doing then? I guess we'll get up and move around since it is the next morning, correct? Uh, I want both of you to roll me a perception check. How far is? Hold on, one second. How do I do distance uh, without clicking on someone's character? Oh, the ruler, right? The ruler. Duh. Get to the ruler, bro. Give me a second. That's, oh that's God, pretty, that's, that's pretty confusing. Far. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. Uh, roll me, both of you roll me a perception check with disadvantage to see if you heard them talking about this. Oh, my perception sucks. So did Sir Guys, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Couldn't see a barnyard for a door. Oh, we had a 12. 12 and 15. Or 12. 12 and 15. 15, I'll count. Who's, who's 15? That's, or did, did, did you, you roll, roll twice? Do you want... Yeah, he said. Yeah, okay, so kill, kill. Oh. kill. Advantage means you roll twice, take the highest. Disadvantage means you roll twice, take the lowest. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, give me a okay, second. so what's your lowest roll? roll? Well, that's okay. not. That's not the. That's not a perception. Oh, that's a nat twenty. Uh, but, but, but what was your first roll though? But I take the twelve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, out twelve. You hear. You hear. You hear something, but you're not sure what it is. Um, Lilith, what did you roll? Twelve. Yeah, both of you hear something going on down the hall, but you can't really quite make out what it is. And then you just hear hear Irina like walking down the hallway into the kitchen. Yeah, we just hear Sir Guy say this floor is made out of floor. <laughs> no, that wasn't what he said, but okay. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, and the morning gets started. Everybody. Uh, uh, there's not really a dining room in this building, so uh, I suppose that uh, Irina would take the plate to you guys. Two plates for you, and Ishmark would come out here and give all of them, all of them, some food. Yep. What are we eating? What? 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 what Sir Guy would join you two in here. So you guys eat. You have breakfast. Um. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing from last session. Mark one ration off of your your stuff because they didn't serve dinner last night. You guys got so they're so late. You didn't. They didn't have time to cook. So where, where is ration? Inventory. inventory. Ration should be in your backpack. inventory. Inventory backpack tab. Now Ishmark sees the the. <laughs> Ishmark sees the, the prince on the voice like, what's happened here? What is going on? Why is bag open and f footprints on floor? Man. I don't know. Well, he beats me, man. I thought I told everybody. Nobody understands. We can't oh, know. this is, this is, this is nonsense. We need to eat. Please eat. We need to get ready to go. We are burning daylight. All right, and um, once everybody is ready, we will move over to Barovian Village and start on our quest. Yum, 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 I want you to describe yum, it yum, yum, like what yum. we ate for breakfast. Um, so there isn't much to eat in Barovia. They are serving some eggs. Works for me. Yeah. There's not much to eat in Barovia. They had they had a few eggs. What are you doing, Kill? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, Kill's just like bouncing all over the house. Irina comes out with the club again. You stop! I am serious. I will hit you. I will hit you. <laughs> oh. Okay, you made your way. Everybody's just gonna convene down the steps just gonna have him go downstairs as well i know the the track is off on this i'm sorry i noticed that just now yes all right uh is everybody ready to go you have your gear you have your weapons we have everything we need you see Ishmark like digging through his bag looking through it and irene is just like she seems ready to go. We we need to. We aren't. We are not leaving yet. I'm sorry. I'm doing the wrong voice there. <clears throat> we are not leaving yet, brother. We need to bury Dad. It's like yes, yes. I am sorry. I just want to get you to safety as fast as possible. So, uh, who? I need two people to carry the coffin that uh, their dad is in. I didn't have a module or a token to put down on the map. I'll help carry it. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna say you and the paladin are going to to, to like lift this, and we are going to go out. So from here, I'm gonna move everybody back over to Barovian Village. Yay! Let's. I would help, but I'm very. M- okay. So oh, now that nobody heard that, I'm not gonna have you guys travel. I'm gonna show you guys where you're going, and I want you to drag the characters down. I'm gonna come up here. Okay, go up to about there. So we right walk, oh, and we're right going, we're going here. To, we're going to the graveyard. Okay. Yeah, you're going to the. Uh, let me roll flip to it. I almost forgot about this part. I apologize. Oh, shit. <laughs> um. Yes, you guys, I want you to put your characters up here. As I am lagging now. There we go. I can't really, like, drag Kill. Ishmark. Um, Kill. I, I know it's funny. But I can't fucking click when you do that. That seems to be your problem. Which marks gonna come up there? I'm gonna have the paladin go up there. Give me just a second, cause I've gotta move like two or three people up there. You can highlight As you guys... people and move them at the same time. Where's Yami? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You got you and the paladin are both carrying the um, the coffin of uh, the burgomaster uh, Lilith, and <laughs> as you guys reach it, atop a slight rise against the roof of the pillar stone that supports cat. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm sorry to hear about your coffin fit. Who's cough? Co- <laughs> wait, what? Coffin fit. Oh, funny, <laughs> hilarious. Atop a slight rise against the roof of the pillar stone that supports Castle Ravenloft stands a gray, sagging edifice of stone and wood. The church is obviously weathered and the, the assaults of evil for centuries on end and is worn and weary. A bell tower rises the, toward the back and flickering light shines through the holes in the shingled roof. The rafters strain feebly against their load. You said load. The, as you guys approach the wooden door, the doors... The heavy wooden doors of the church are covered with claw marks and scarred by fire. Alright. Do, 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 do. And uh, uh, Ishmark knocks on the door. You, uh, A slide opens and he goes, how can I help you? Or, I'm sorry, no. He, he opens the door and you guys... Alright, and we will paste Karina here. Uh, you guys enter... Where did I go? I lost my place. You you notice a priest in the back, and he's like on his hands and knees praying, praying hard. And you guys hear in the from somewhere in here, like crying out for help, something about hunger. And like you see the priest just like praying on his hands and knees. He hears you enter, and he turns around. I'm sorry if he's not in your view. He is. He is right here. He goes, oh, yes. Uh, come in. He notices Ishmark first. Uh, Ishmark and uh, Irina enter first. He's like, yes, yes, yes. Come in. Welcome to the, the Church of the Morning Lord. Sorry, it is in such uh, bad shape. Um, you are here for... and, and uh, Ishmark speaks up. He's like, yes, we are here to bury uh, Father. Oh, my condolences, my condolences. I, I, you, as you can see, church isn't in great shape. It's, uh, not pleasant time at all. Uh, but yes, we will perform last rites for, um, your father. And he is going to get up off his knees and he's going to come over here. <laughs> bald, bald. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Yes. Okay, so, uh, we will go to cemetery, and I will perform last rites. You too, and he's gonna point at, um, Lilith and Sir Guy who are carrying the coffin. I need you to come with me. And he's gonna lead you, Ishmark and Irina are gonna go out with them. Okay, and I don't think there's a graveyard thing. No, there is not. Of course there is not. Yeah, it would be too convenient. 
man, wouldn't it? Okay, uh, yeah, he's gonna take you guys out. I'm gonna say he's gonna take you guys out here. There's, you're gonna have to role play this part. He's gonna take you out here with, um, move you a little, sorry. Him and Irina and them are gonna go into, not kill, not kill. Are gonna go into, like, the, I guess the mausoleum. He's gonna, like, unlock it with a key and open the gate. He's like, oh yes, bring, 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 bring them, bring the person in here. Lay them on floor. And there's like an empty spot where he's prepared a spot. It's like, oh. <clears throat> and he's going to start, you know, giving him a prayer of the morning, Lord, telling him, you know, uh, the... Does he even give this guy's name? That's the problem. Does he even give the guy's name? I'm sorry, this part is so awkward, guys. <laughs> Sir Burgermeister. Sir Burgermeister. <laughs> da 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 da. Burgermeister's mansion. That's what I'm looking for. Search Burgermeister's mansion. Search the commands. I just want to put it down. I just want to put it down. Search the mansion. Me do 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 do. Yes. Uh, he's gonna give the last rites to the father of Rina and Ishmark, wish them b both condolences, and then have you and the paladin lift the coffin into the, um, I guess the, the giant, like, stone one, and he's going to close it up. He's going, ah, oh, yes, there we are. I do apologize. Um, it hasn't been greatest here since, uh, the last time <clears throat> the Devil Strahd visited. As you could see, the church wasn't in great condition. And, um, <clears throat> that crying. Yes, you've probably heard that too. He's gonna lead you all back inside. He's gonna lead you guys back inside as he's going to explain what that that crying was the uh the crying yes that was my son we're gonna hear it again as you guys come inside father sounds like it's coming somewhere in from somewhere in here but you're not sure unless you want to roll a perception check 18 18 that'll work give me just a second i'm still trying to find this don't even worry about it. Here sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear it coming from somewhere in here. Blow it. Somewhere over here is where it sounds like it's coming from. Oh, uh, yes. My son. <clears throat> yes, that is my son. Um,. He came home one night after facing Strahd, which he was killed. He came home and he was not himself. I uh, tricked him into going into the basement and I locked him down there. Um, why would you lock your son in the basement? You see, my son is no longer, uh, how you say, human. And I have been praying to the morning lord day and night to try to find cure for him. I, I wish not. I do not wish death upon him. Uh, are you gonna, you gonna hear the crying again? He's crying out for help. I don't want to roleplay that. It would be very awkward in public. <laughs> oh, father, help me! Oh, father, I'm starving. <laughs> and he's like, yes, please. If if you do anything, please don't kill him. Uh, he doesn't deserve that. I'm trying to find his cure. I wish my son. To be rid of this, this accursed thing that he upon him. Now, if you all, um, I have much to do today. Many people still come to this church. I have to clean it up. I'm sure you have other things to do. And Ishmar, uh, Ishmar's gonna be like, yes, yes, we have we have much to do. We we need to go to Velaki now. We make our way there. Yes, unless you you wish to help Father Donovich. I mean, we don't have any... It's up to you guys. What do you want to do? <laughs> uh... I like 
Alex, how everybody do you roll me a. I want to say Arcana check. Or a history check, whichever one you like. Yeah, it doesn't matter, they're both the same for me. What'd you roll, Gail? <laughs> nah, you're not sure what would cure vampirism. Or undead, or whatever this man is saying. Anybody else roll? Uh, I rolled Arcana, but I rolled lower than Gil, so... Alright, uh, Sky, did you roll? I will roll now. Arcana or history, whichever one you like. Oh, Arcana or history. Yes. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, that is a 17. Oh, uh, 17. You would know there is a cure. Uh, you believe a removed curse spell or, or something of the sort would be able to cure whatever this is ailing this man. Are you going to tell this to Donovich? I believe that... Remove... I believe that the spell remove curse or... Re or restoration may be able to cure it. This is great news. Please, come back to me when you can... You can help me. I will keep him in, in there as long as I can. It, it would mean a great deal to me. If you were to help him. By the morning, Lord be blessed. My prayers have been answered. Now please, go. I have to get cleaning. Ishmark is gonna, like, wave to you guys, be like, yes. Let us make our way now. We have to go. Um, so, <coughs> from here, you're gonna go back to the... Wait. Back to the village of Brovia. Because he, he, like, ushers you guys out, you leave, and you he closes the door behind you and you hear it click with a lock. We're the village of Barovia, everybody. Woo! Woo! I know we're switching maps a lot, guys. It'll stop soon, I'm sorry. Alright, and from here, um, as you guys exit, I want you guys to make a... I don't have a token for it, right? But make a... Actually, I do have a token. Make a perception check. Uh, again. Ooh, I got 16 this time. As did 24. I. 16? Bill, you just... What was that? Uh, Sky? 24. 24? You see it too. Yeah, you... <laughs> you <laughs> watch a zombie, like, make its way across the tavern, and it sort of, like, looks at you, it passes it by. <laughs> I'm gonna like make him disappear now. Hold on, he's gonna make his way through here and then just poof. <coughs> All right, uh, that is uh, that is strange. Random zombie in the middle of nowhere. Um, welcome to Barovia, I guess. Uh, let us go. We must hurry. Daylight's yeah. burning. Oh, I want everybody to make perception checks as you guys leave. Um, is the... this me? <laughs> Is his name Fred? Fifteen. It's Fred! Fifteen? Mm -mm. Fifteen. Twelve. Um, it, Twelve? Fred. Nope. Hilldozer? Uh, give me a second. Where's the two yeah, I gotta go get Irina and them. <laughs> no, you guys don't see it. Hold on. But I'm gonna um, have... Perception. Irina and uh, Ishmark roll. Well, that's Yami rolled fun. a 16. Yami sees it. She sees a zombie following far behind you guys. Uh, and so does Arena. Uh, I don't like this. That same zombie we saw leaving the village is following us. That is unusual behavior. Turn the grid on here. Its eyes are yellow. It's creepy. It is the, it is a, it is early in the morning. You guys have, I want to say that um, traveling to the church, having the burial service done, all of that was done in maybe an hour and 20 minutes. 
so it is probably like 10 o'clock from what you can guess. I'm gonna make it to this bridge. And as you guys make it to this bridge, which is here, to let everybody know, um, the river flows as clear as the blue winter sky through the valley. You guys cross over this like old rickety bridge and you start making your way into the the woods. We'll say that it takes about like not even 10 minutes. So as you guys continue down the road, you not much is going on. The, you know, it's just Barovia. Every all the trees seem eerily close together as if they grew into each other. The, most of the leaves on some of them are dead. The shrubbage looks dead and the fog is settling around the area. And it, it's just eerie. Uh, this river is f roughly 50 feet wide with a depth ranging from 5 to 10 feet. Arcing stone bridges span the river at two points, one near the village of Barovia and one on the other, other side here. So you guys continue up your way through the forest. You know, you hear the usual like bird, crow, stuff like that. Sorry, I'm moving everybody up a little bit. You guys notice a trail that branches off. This, uh, you discover a foot trail that cuts through the wilderness. Okay. Um, Ishmark is gonna, like, come up to you and like, no, do not go down there. It is a trap. Many, many evil people, evil druids place these things. They do not wish to, they try to trick new people into going down them. Oh, As I was saying, you guys make it up to about right here. Uh, an old wooden gallows creaks in a chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west. A frayed length of rope dances from its beam. The well-worn road splits here, and a signpost opposite the gallows points off in three directions. Barovia Village to the east, Serpool to the northwest, and Ravenloft Velaki to the southwest. The northwest fork slants down and disappears into the trees while... The southwest fork leans to an upward slope. Across from the gallows, a low wall crumbling in, in places partially encloses a small plot of graves shrouded, shrouded in fog. We, we go to Velaki, yes? We are on our way to Velaki. This is where we go. We, we do not want to go to Serpul. The Stani do not like us. Okay, uh, let me double check what it means by that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are going to make your way around this way, because this is towards Stairpool. So uh, you guys are going to make it exactly of a mile. five miles. You want to roll natural... for your nature check? Um, so natural, natural or survival. Explorer. Sorry, it's survival. Natural explorer. Uh, I naturally will, I naturally will be able to find double as many many ingredients or food items items normal and if i'm in my favorite environment it's even more we are in a forest my favorite environment so meaning i have advantage you guys are an h not g sorry h yeah h, so that's g. a uh, g is the serpent. Okay, so that is a 20 to find uh, herbs, uh, po potentially poisonous plants, and um, all the different things that we might need for our different things that we need. I got a 20. Right. You roll. Okay. So you need to roll um, uh, nature. What is it That's exactly survival. you're looking for? Did you say survival? He said survival. Okay. What is it exactly you're looking for, Sky? Um, general herbs for herbalism kit and po potentially poisonous uh, uh, things that can be turned into, well, poison. And you rolled a natural twenty. I rolled an I rolled a nine, which ro which got up to a twenty-four. Okay, twenty-four. I want to say you find like seventy-five percent of the things you're looking for. I'm not, I don't know enough freaking herbalage to tell you, so I'm pretty sure you know what it's called. So yeah, you look, you find a bunch of the, the poisonous things and a bunch of the things needed for an, at least maybe an herbalism kit and a half. Yes. 
So you. Uh, so so yeah. Lilith, what are you looking for? I'm looking for herbs to help make potions. You rolled a natural twenty. I rolled a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, you five. find at least. You find at least five potions worth of po- po- uh, uh, herbs. Sorry. Cool. As you guys make your way around these, sorry, go ahead. Um, any magical ingredients that we've come across? None that I could, none that you would know of. Are there any animals around? Is it is it okay if like I roll okay. to, to notice any animals? Roll me a nature check. There likely are animals here. Oh God, no! I won't be able to sit here. Mine's so low. <laughs> What's your roll? What's your roll? Tell me. You go. I smell cows. <laughs> I smell meat. I am a cat, so it's... Um, you see a cow and you're like looking at you like you're fucking crazy. Lilith. I go, Lilith. Meat. Meat? I will look... I will look on the sides of the road for any tracks. For um, animal tracks. Yeah. Roll me a nature check. Uh, 13. 13? Um, you hear Kill go, I smell cow, and then you look down and you see wolf tracks. <laughs> like, Kill, you, you, you smell wolf, if anything. And Kill goes, no, I smell cow. I there, smell- <laughs> there are wolf tracks here. And like, you see Arena just like, face palming. I was really just, hoping uh, for deer. These are the people sent to, to escort me. You're all pathetic. Excuse hey. me, some of us are a little more uh, distinguished than others. And and I, it's Mark's just like, no, 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 no. You're all fine. He he just crazy. She's just crazy a little bit. It's it's fine. Barovia does this to you. And you got the guys are gonna. It's like as they're saying, saying you're all miserable. I'll say, hey, you're walking the wrong direction. So, and Ishmark's gonna like slow down as he comes to this bridge. At the the what you would now known is is known as uh the Ivlis Im- River oh, Ivlis River this guy <sighs> for the love of Jesus Ivlis River <laughs> the name is hard forgive me um he, yeah as you guys were making through um Ishmark would be pointing out uh, landmarks and this right here that you're here at this body of water is known as Ivlis River. And he's a, he slows down as he comes to the bridge. He's like, we are coming close to Strahd's castle. We must be very careful. We must pass by it as we make our way to Velaki. It is morning, but Spawn could still be about. And he is going to continue his way up to here. Can I make a, I want... can I make a history check to see uh, on whether or not Spawn would likely prefer patrol this forest yes 18 you have known that for a while now Strahd has sent out spawn during the day to hunt and feed for themselves they do not stray farther than than uh I want to say uh, here can I draw a line yeah I'm gonna draw a line yeah it wouldn't stray any farther than on how do I draw uh, click the pencil tool. Yeah. It wouldn't stray farther than this tree line here. But yeah. Oh, we have to pass they they usually hunt in these areas. What was that? I'm just saying, just saying, oh god, we have to pass this territory. Interesting. Yep. Well, it looks like we we're going to be... be passing through his area. We should we should be careful. Agreed. There's there's a good chance that there are still spawn out here. And here. It is it is best to be careful. So I mean we could try and go around, but we would be cutting through the woods, which are just as dangerous. So uh, let us proceed. And you guys <sighs> are going to proceed to about. You guys are going to proceed to about right up here. And if you want to, I will allow you. You guys to roll stealth checks. Oh 
god. The paladin's not gonna make any because you know. My stump is so high. <laughs> Ishmark, Ishmark rolled pretty well. Irina, Irina rolled um, pretty well. Oh god, I got twenty-eight. <laughs> um, at, the paladin's like standing next to you, and you just watch as you vanish, and you go, "What go, the? Holy! Oh, what? <laughs> what did you?" I got twenty-one. Nice. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. Wait, aren't you in heavy armor? I am. Roll at disadvantage. Roll again and take the lower number. Alright. Paladin's gonna roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, he trips and falls in his face. Twelve. Okay, that's that's passable. I'll say that's passable. So as you guys make your 22. way up to about here. Yeah, you're gone, Aline. You're gone. Uh, ba 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 ba. H I. No. Um, information for you. Um. Uh, blah blah. When we are in traveling in a group, difficult train will not uh will not slow our groups of okay. travel. We cannot be lost right. by we cannot be lost by by natural means. So only magical can cause us to be lost. And we, be ready with and, we and we can and we can travel and we can travel stealthier than nor we can travel stealthier than normal. I have a new ability. I didn't even see that. Yo, hold up. up, hold up. Okay, uh, the paladin rolled a six on stealth. <laughs> it's okay. So it's okay. Uh, traveling mechanics when it comes to stealth takes the average of all of our rolls. So we're all hit. Okay, fair. Good point. What would the? <laughs> I don't know how to do that kind of math. So, um, what was see, the, uh, I'm all, guessing they were all, all the rolls. 20? Give I've me all the rolls. Well, they were all 20, right? Mine was 28. Oh. 20, so two 20s. What were the other ones? The other the NPCs? <laughs> uh, Irina rolled a 13. Ishmark rolled a 15. So a guy rolled a 12, or no, a 6, and... Moon Six. Drill rolled a 12. So our average would be about 15, 16. Alright. Very well, then. You guys make your way up to this area here. And as you do, even here in the mountains, the forest and the fog are inescapable. Ahead, the dirt road splits in two, widening toward the east. There you see patches of cobblestone suggesting the eastern branch was once an important thoroughfare. At about the time you here, I want to say it's about midday. You reach you reach this area, and I want everybody to make. Per, actually, I'm sorry, Ishmark and Irina are going to both make perception checks. Uh, Irina goes blind for half a second. There's like some flies getting her face. She rolled a one. Uh, Ishmark looks back and he, he's like. I do not see zombie. Is he still back there? Do you guys see him? It's Fred. Um. Do you guys want to roll again? For. Sure. Uh, six. give me just a second. I gotta find this part. I am it. It's a strange thing was following. Why would it follow us? It's zombie. It usually eat people. Fifteen. Fourteen. Oh, I know uh, what I can do. What? That reminds me. Yeah, no, just fucking. Uh, I'll take a minute. I can sense the. I can sense undead within a five, five mile radius. You sense one. He's still with us. Yes. I would have to find uh, him here. You sense him a hundred and twenty feet behind you. But he is quite far behind us, about one hundred and twenty feet. Why is he following us? That seems strange. I have never seen a zombie do that. Perhaps he is a spy. I believe. I and doubt it. You know. God doesn't like zombie spies. And more importantly, Usually. zombies zombies generally don't ha don't have enough intelligence intelligence to speak. This one has yeah. enough intelligence to follow us. Right. That is what that is what is strange about it. It's very strange. Oh, it's giving me chills. The night is gonna be another new moon. We better get to Valaki soon. 
And uh, this is the point where Strahd, you, you're probably confused, so, so, not Strahd, sorry. This is the point where Ishmark is gonna like look at you as you, as like the paladin's giving you a weird look. What do you mean a new moon? Isn't it supposed to be a quarter? Like, like a, I don't know, a fading crescent? He's like, no, no. In Barovia, time is different. Every, every phase of moon is two nights instead of just one. It is, it is a very weird weather. We're very weird here. Time acts differently here than outside. Wherever that is. Um, Barovia is, as not, you guys on, get... Barovia is not on the same plane as the rest of, rest of the material plane. Yes, exactly. We are in, I guess, what you call a demi-plane. Demi-plane. A per we, are in Stra we are in Strahd's personal domain. This entire, this entire region is. We own this entire land. That's crazy. Okay. As you guys get here, two sets of other than that, the fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you. Ahead, jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses, looming gray in the fog. Hot, huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. As you guys approach the gates, they open. Like, they creak loudly as they start opening for you now then uh ishmark ishmark is gonna go 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 we must we must get out of strad's strad's uh area now not here we and he's going to usher you guys it. out yes. as you guys make your way through the gates they close behind you and ishmark is going to be with you obviously he's gonna be well leading the the charge since you guys don't know your way around here he's gonna be like pointing out um He's gonna point out ahead, and you guys see. He's gonna point out the the windmill, and that's when the paladin remembers. Didn't we get a deed for a windmill? It's like, yes, but that's his very cursed place. We will not be going there. And he, it, and I, did you just see Irina like nod, as, as like you, we must avoid that area. Rumor has it a bunch of hags on it. Uh, so as you guys continue down the road, I have to do something. You guys notice a swarm of ravens pass over your heads. As like, it, just a huge swarm of maybe 20 ravens passing overhead. You, you see thing? Ishmark like breathe a sigh of relief. He's like, oh goodness, that is good news. Ravens are um, a good sign. Question. Yes. Um, let me pull it up. Give me just a second to double check. Primal, primal awareness. I can sense the gen. I can sense the general mood of, of nearby animals. Okay, yeah. So there we go. Um, you can't find blah, blah, it. You can communicate simple ideas to a beast. Action. You can read its basic mood and intent. You can learn its emotional state and whether it is affected by magic of any sort. Through the mist, you see a blackbird circling overhead. When it feels your eyes upon it, the raven flies away. But it's back before long, keeping its distance. Um, does this it raven... It seems to look at you guys, and then it looks back behind you, and it squawks. Da is, it, uh, is it under any type of magic? No, it is not. You guys, I need you to make a perception check as it happens. As it flies away. You that's a bonus act that you can use your bonus action to What well, was your perception check there, Miss? Yeah, but it says I can use uh, 16. But I can use an extra. Nope. You don't see it. Um, no, it says you can take a bonus action. This is, so it doesn't count as another action. It's Mark and Irina do not see it either. Um, so it can't so a bonus and neither does so the paladin every turn you have one bonus action what 
you have one action, one bonus action, and a and one reaction. So you can use your so basically your cunning action is your special ability that you can turn uh, multiple things such as dash, disengage, or hide into which are normally an action to perform into a bonus action. So basically, you're good at doing things quickly. I have a similar ability, but not as good as yours. My own only works for hiding, and I get disengaging later. Uh, kill, did you roll? Oh, perception check. Give me a second. That being said, that yeah. isn't... 18. That... 18? Yeah. No, you don't see it either. Nobody seems to see this thing. 18 to not. But uh, Ishmark looks it. back again. Ishmark looks back. It rolled really high. Um, Ishmark <laughs> looks back again and he's like, Where, Where's our, our, our zombie stalker? Anybody okay. see him? I will sense again. You, you sense it, but farther this time. It's, it's now a hundred. It's almost two hundred feet away. It's much further back. Is it? Is it still following That's us, or has strange. it stopped? You get the sense it's still following you, just at a farther distance. <laughs> it is slowly. It is getting slower and slower. For my guess, they seem to be be following farther Something and farther to, behind no. us. In Barovia, it's a good omen when you see a werewolf. Or a raven in general. They are they are uh, protectors of some kind. Depends on what their, now, let's just make what their mood is. I suppose. Uh, what was their mood? And you guys are going to make your way up to here. And I'm going to, as you make your way up to about here, I need to read something. Devil, what would you say their general mood is? And what needs do they need met currently? That one that you saw, but do not. Well, it seemed like it was just hungry and it was searching for food. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me get back to the task at hand here. Well, the bright news is the raven seemed. The ravens around us seem to be hungry, so there are not likely any vampires spawn nearby. Otherwise, they would be flocking there, to what's yes. left of the corpse. You see both Irina and Urshmark, like, breathe a sigh of relief. They're like, it's as good there as ravens around. See? That is one. You, one. It means we are near the luck. Two. It means the vampire spawn is picking to the ground. See? Uh, I do see, not think uh, they will be all hung. Very simple information from, from you tells me, oh, there aren't vampires spawn near. Otherwise, the ravens would be feasting. Or they would be full. Don't they would like the taste of vampire spawn. Well, no, I'm not they wouldn't sure. like the taste of vampire spawn, but if vampire spawn are hunting, they likely killed something. Give me just a second here, Kill. I'm trying to find it. What I'm trying to the say is... The old scavenger... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What I'm trying to say is, what? if vampire spawn are hunting, when they killed something, the ravens would pick off what's left of whatever they killed. If they, yes. if the, if the ravens are are still hungry, there aren't vampires spawn around here, and and they haven't killed anything around here. Right. So That's as you guys make your way here, the old Slavich Road transitions here from being a winding path through the Balanok Mountains to a lazy trail that hugs the mountainside as it descends into a fog-filled valley. In the heart of the valley, you see a walled town near the near the shores of a great mountain lake. Its waters dark and still. A branch in the road leads west to a prom prominent promontory atop which is perched a dilapidated stone windmill. Its warped wooden veins drip bare. We, 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 we do not go there. It's a very evil place. We must make our way now. We are almost there. And as you guys are, like, nearing Velaki, the sun, you can feel the sun starting to, like, the light from the sun starting to fade out and turn like a, it's turning like a 
a dull orange on the land now. Um, you guys are gonna make your way... We're just gonna cut straight to the rest. You guys are gonna head straight into the town of Velaki from here. And the old Slavich Road meanders into a valley, watched over by dark, brooding mountains to the north and south. The woods recede, revealing a sullen mountain bird surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against this wall as though looking for a way inside, hoping to catch the town's slumber. The dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing between them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are half a dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. We have made it to Velaki. We, we will uh, get you all settled in and then we will gladly pay you for your services. Thank you so much. 